day so far. Today we are enjoying a beautiful spring day. It is 70 degrees, the sun is beaming, and the birds are chirping. It is just absolutely glorious. I am trying to soak it up as much as I can because I'm actually here at a friend's house visiting and she has the most beautiful terrace and I really want to liven it up and give it like a little bit more of a European look. And so today we are going to be doing some spring decorating here on the terrace porch area and I'm really excited. It's such a beautiful area and and the sun just kind of gathers throughout the day. I thought she has a very basic setup right now and so I wanted to spruce that up a little bit and make it a little cozier for her, a little bit more um, spacious if you want to say that. Very calming and we're gonna add lots of flowers and really just kind of spruce up this space. Um, we didn't start with much so I'm really excited to revamp it a bit and I want to thank Wayfair for sponsoring today's video. I'm really excited to be partnering with them and they have a huge outdoor sale going on right now. You can get up to 50% off of all of the outdoor decor and stuff and you can get fast shipping, which is amazing. So definitely be sure to check all the links in the description box below. I will list some of my other favorites, but they have some beautiful outdoor pieces that you're not gonna wanna miss out on because like I said, it's 50% off right now. So now's the time to get it so you can enjoy it all spring and summer long. But yeah, we got a lot to get to. I am gonna show you a couple of things that I ordered from Wayfair to set up this space. Found the cutest outdoor bistro set at Wayfair and it's small, it's not overly large, so it's perfect for like an apartment terrace and stuff so that you can really utilize the space and not feel like it's overpowering it but it's so cute. The thing I really liked about this set is that the table is like a half moon shape so that it sits flat up against the wall, which is perfect because it really utilizes the space, but you still have room for your book and a cup of tea or coffee, or you could have lunch out here with a friend. So I think it'll be really nice, and they actually comes in two different color stains, and I chose the more muted tone so that it would give a little bit more of like a European look, but really blend in a little bit and not be too loud for the space. We're gonna add color with flowers, so don't don't you worry. part about this wooden outdoor set is it's super easy to assemble. The table literally takes a few bolts and the chairs have no assembly whatsoever. They just fold right out and they are comfortable. It is so cute and I love to put it back away for winter time if you need to, store it or you can even take it with you on a trip, which is really fun or have a picnic somewhere. It is the perfect little outdoor set. So cute. I know that I love pillows. Well, I asked her, I was like, what colors do you not want me to use? And she's like, yellow. I was like, okay, I can do that. I said, can I do other pops of colors? She said, yes. So I know I said I was going for more of a tranquil look, but I could not resist when I saw this pillow on Wayfair. It is so beautiful. It's like a cone flower, I believe. Um, but it just reminds me of poppies, honestly. It's so pretty, it's embroidered. It is gorgeous, you guys. And I like it because it would just add a little bit of lumbar support, you know, for your back and stuff. But look at that for spring. Ugh, I love it. Thought it'd be so beautiful on the chair. I was like, oh yes, absolutely. Excited to find a really beautiful wood plant stand on Wayfair. She absolutely loves plants, has them all over the house, and I thought this would be perfect at some height to the terrace, but also just I like let her display all the beautiful flowers and it's easy, she can move it around if she wants to and it's just, I thought this would be so good.
plants. So I think we'll just distribute those in a couple different ways. Hives here, which are really nice. I want tulips, which are beautiful. Add a little extra height there. color. She loves pink and so I found this beautiful rug on the way here as well. It comes in a couple different sizes and colors. And these beautiful ficus trees on Wayfair and they were such a good deal. So this is a really pretty option so it adds a little bit of height and it gives a little bit more of like kind of almost like a citrus look like you could do um, like potted like lemons trees or like an orange tree like dwarf versions of it. I think that'd be really neat but you could also do topiaries that would be really beautiful too but we wanted a little bit more of a not wild look, but a little bit more natural, kind of forgiving look because the, all her other plants are very um, just kind of whimsical and so we didn't want everything too tailored. this really cute wagon and I thought it was absolutely adorable. We definitely have to make use of that and then she can add more and more plants to it and stuff. So I'll link some similar ones for you. Lavender smells so good on here on the terrace. What do you think of our spring porch? I think it turned out so beautiful. I love decorating for spring, especially when we can use real plants and stuff. I think that's really nice, but you can also mix in faux plants in there and it can look really beautiful. And then you have, you can kind of determine what you want to put your maintenance into and stuff, but I think it turned out so beautiful. I love the way everything flows, adds color, and as the season goes on, more and more things are going to bloom, which is just going to be even more beautiful. It's so peaceful. We can sit out here. I wanted to see if we just switched out the rug and moved it over to the bistro set, how that would look. I think it just makes the space feel a little bit more complete and set up in a sense. I really like this table. All you have to do is pull this little lever down right here and it detaches and then it will lay flat. So it's perfect for traveling. It's really neat. And then you just pop it back out and it locks in. You have this little um, knob right here and you just push it down and then they completely flatten too. Isn't that neat? It makes it super convenient. No assembly. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's spring decorate with me. Hopefully I give you lots of decorating ideas and as you can incorporate real and faux plants, but also adding those pops of color using nature and just creating the vibe that you were looking for. We really wanted it to feel like we were in a different area. And I think we accomplished that. I really love it.
Definitely be sure to check out the big outdoor sale that Wafer is having right now. You won't want to miss it. Take advantage of it so that you can save and enjoy the season for as long as possible, making it beautiful and comfortable. I'll have all the links down in the description box below. But now I'm actually going to take you to the Fixer Upper and we are going to work on that. I have a few other things to do, so I hope you enjoy. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing so long the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday In the hallway here, finishing it up so we can finish the flooring. I'm really excited because if you saw the last episode of the Fixer Upper, we did the first part of the kitchen, which is really exciting, but I am painting the walls now, and then we're gonna lay flooring, work on trim and doors, which is very exciting. It's finishing up, we're wrapping it up very quickly. No, it's not. I hope you all enjoyed today's spring decorate with me and working on the fixer upper definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up check the description box for all the links for all the decor that you saw in today's video i hope you all have been inspired and motivated i hope you have a beautiful blessed day thank you again for watching and i'll see you all in the next one